Hi guys, I'm going to be playing Lego City Undercover, so let's get started. Chase? You gonna be long? I'm getting bored here. The only things in the back of the truck are books. <laughs> so as you can see, we're on the case of um, so, uh, saving Frank because he's being kidnapped. So I need to get to um, I need to get a Krabby Cove. There's an odd satisfaction to like getting all the lampposts. I'll just go all the way up here as well, blast my way through. <laughs> Love that. Well. There's so many scenic routes in this game as well, there's like lots to see. Oh. Hey, are you in there, Frank? Yes! Is that you, Chase? Have you come to rescue me? Shh! Johnny! Go fetch the rest of the gang! Tell Mr. Chen we have company! Oh, I think the robbers are still around, so... BE QUIET! Okay, let's get started then. Are you having some kind of fight? I love Frank. Are you okay out there? <laughs> oh, yeah. I expect they've got real. Fast, we can still make the grand unveiling. I'll settle for getting out of here alive. And I thought I was unambitious. <laughs> I hope we get back in time. I don't want to let Ellie down. One of the gang members mentioned someone called Chan. Any idea who that is, Frank? Ah, uh, probably Chan Chuang. He's pretty new to Lego City, but I heard he runs the biggest chop shop in town. I hope they taste nice. The chop shop is where they dismantle stolen vehicles, Frank. Oh. I guess I should cancel that reservation then. 
I think this chain's connected to Rex Fury. Oh. I love how cinematic this is. First we've got this like amazing fight scene and then I'm being chased I think in this massive ginormous police vehicle. <laughs> this is like being on a roller coaster only without any of the boring safety. check in the back of here because a lot of stuff has fallen out of the cupboards. I don't know how that had time to have a blockade. Chasing us. This would be a lot of fun. Woo Looks like they've stopped following us. Good driving. Could you pull over on that corner up ahead, please? I have to say, this music does sound a lot like James Bond, which is brilliant. drive it from here I want to show Ellie that I can be trusted all right enjoy getting your photo in the papers Frank ha! I can't wait all day Marion I have to reopen the bridge this afternoon where is that truck as if I'm interested in fame and fortune oh <gasps> my public Ah, here it comes, Mayor Gleason. <laughs> right on time. Here I am with our new truck. Good old Frank Honey delivers again. Coming through. Honey. Honey. Out of the way. <laughs> Sorry, madam. Hi there, Mayor Gleason. Hey, Chief. Dunby. Honey. Waffles. What are we doing? Well, what did you expect to happen with Frank driving it? This is your fault, Marion. Whoa. Chase, give me some good news. Have you found Rex Fury? Well... How could you find him? I mean, the Chief told you to stay off his case. Oh, really? <laughs> That's not true at all. <laughs> it isn't, Chase. No? That's right. I was just about to, to send him undercover in, uh, uh, Cheng Chuang's gang? I think he's linked to Rex. Uh, yes! <laughs> hmm. Well, that was broke when I got here. Frank, Ellie, you hiding down here? You betcha. I'm staying as far from Dunby as possible. And I saw a spider. I have no idea how we're going to get out of this mess. Oh, it's easy. I expect my parents will pay for it. Like usual. Huh? You know they're really rich, right? They own that hotel in Paradise Sands. Oh, it all makes sense now. Anyway, Chase is going undercover. He'll need new clothes. Well, congratulations, Chase. Cool. Hey, 
Hey, that's quite the transformation. I barely recognize you. Yeah! Who's that strange man in the garage? Right. I'm off to figure out how to get into Chan's gang. I hope they've reopened the bridge to the main island. Good luck with that, Chase. That was Chase? I gotta say, I really like the um, outfits in this. The beanie's quite a... Uh, it's quite cool. Okay, let's find a way to get into your gang, Mr. Chan. Ooh. I like that. This is an emergency. Oh, better drive in style. Ooh. I was just staring at the scenery. I love the balloons. There's even a bouncy castle over there. I'm near the destination. Hey, Chase. Now you're an undercover detective. I've added a new function to your communicator. Is it a voice recorder? So I can do private eye style monologues? No! I was disappointed, but I decided to hear the lady out. It's an audio scanner. You just point it at a window and you can hear what's being said inside the room. You'll need to get to a vantage point to use it, though. It sounded like it might be useful. I thanked the nice lady and set off into the night. It's the daytime. <laughs> Good luck, Chase. I should get to somewhere I can listen out for clues. Where am I? <laughs> I always find it's interesting listening to like the civilians' kind of um, conversations. I? I'm guessing I'm going to be using the grapple gun quite a bit now. That looks so cool. I'm 
it's obviously a spot that I can come back to later as it's locked my little trampoline <laughs> as you do okay so I can listen in to my scanning device Am I phoning you? Because you're late for your interview. Where are you? Ah, oh, you're meant to be a chance limo place. Get a move on. Can you believe that? That Bucky Butler guy. The one who wants to join the gang? Yeah, he was at the art gallery. Well, they do have an excellent collection of cubist sculptures. What does cubist mean? <laughs> <laughs> Bucky Butler. Why is that name familiar? I busted that guy, like two years ago. If I get him out of the picture, then I can take his place at the job interview and join Chan's gang. Sorry, it's an emergency. Okay, I've got more ride. Off we go. I'm sure that'll come in useful later. That is gonna leave a dent. I love how inconspicuous he is. <laughs> Oh. Need a little bit more. I'm not really sure what them those people are doing, to be honest. So I take it I'm going to pretend to be maybe Bucky Butler because we've got to listen out and see some information about what him. What do you think of this one? Hmm. You know how they say a picture paints a thousand words? Yes. Well they're going to have to invent about 999 new ones for rubbish for that Hang thing. So true. Goodbye, sir. I hope you enjoyed the gallery. Uh, yeah, thanks. I picked up this real nice print from the gift shop. Gosh, it looks just like the original. <laughs> it sure does. 
Well, see ya! Haha! <laughs> I didn't even know the gift shop sold prints. <laughs> oh. Hey you! Stop! I know you! You're that cop from years ago! What? Oh, way to tip off your target, Chase. <laughs> I, uh, just wanna talk! Uh... Oh, this car's awesome. It's like a Batmobile. <laughs> Just back it up. It's all good. I've got this. I'm gonna get in trouble for that. <laughs> When's Chase not in trouble? No, that wasn't my fault. Oh, getting ahead of the guy. <laughs> Ooh, gotta watch out for the skateboarders. Oh, that's such a sharp turn. Oh wow, that was cool. Take that, Bucky Butler. Oh. Stop! Or I will <laughs> there is. keep running after you! Oh man! Why do you keep arresting me? You were going to join Chan's gang. That ain't a criminal offense! Sheesh! I don't like to tell people how to do their own job. But if you're gonna arrest me for anything, it should be for the painting I just stole, you fool! <laughs> huh? Oh, sausages. Thanks, Bucky. Okay, I better get to my job interview. Gonna get in trouble for that. I wonder how easy it's gonna be to join the gang now we've got that information. I wonder if I'm just gonna have to sort of say, oh I've stolen the painting. The new boy? Yes, sir! Oh, I was promised a thug. You look more respectable than I was hoping. <laughs> uh, well, then maybe you should get some glasses, old man. <laughs> That's more like it! <laughs> okay, I need you to pick someone up. Oh, are they feeling sad? In a car! Obviously. <laughs> the person is Forrest Blackwell. The multi billionaire? That is correct. It won't be easy, though. Mr. Blackwell is constantly hounded by the paparazzi. They will try to follow you, and Mr. Blackwell will not like this. Got it. Not a problem, because I am awesome at driving. Good boy. Go <laughs> pick him up at Blackwell Tower, and be polite. He's our only customer. Such a nice person. Oh, yes. Beautiful. <laughs> you gotta push the game sometimes, haven't you? I say it's a roll up with a limo in flames. <laughs> Listen to this music. Oh, great. Whiplash. 
Oh, there's a tractor over there. Oh, no, it's not a tractor. I thought it was a tractor. <laughs> Maybe I need my eyes testing. Pretty lethal drive from this. Especially when all the traffic's coming at you. Then again, that's the whole point of the added challenge. Taxis in this area. Try it there. He merely wishes to go somewhere mysterious for secretive reasons he doesn't want you to know about. One more question, sir. What? Where are you going? <laughs> hey, Where are you going? Blackwell, sir. What? Don't blame me. It's my job. Where can I take you, sir? Very kind of you to ask, young man. I shall be attending one of the last ever performances of the Perpetual Inbox at the Gillespie Theatre. I trust you have been told of my aversion to the paparazzi. Yes, sir. I'll do my best to shake them off. I appreciate that this may require you to adopt a somewhat, shall we say, unorthodox driving style. It could get a little rough. Oh, do not worry on my account. I have ridden atop ships of the desert. Nothing can compare to the discomfort that inflicts upon one's posterior. <laughs> He's got a very satisfying voice of like a well, he sounds very much like a villain. I wouldn't be surprised if he's patrol of the arts yourself, young man. Well, I like Part that TV Spectre. show with the monkey who solves crimes. Ah, a true connoisseur. <laughs> so, uh, may I ask what the play you're seeing is about? Authority, regulations, bureaucracy, the usual concerns of petty individual. <laughs> Sounds like my old job. Ah, to have your plans thwarted by fools. But what can you do? You either ignore it and get on with your life. Or you go mad. <laughs> yes. <laughs> mad. <laughs> Woo! Or you could sneak behind their backs and get your own way without them knowing. The third option. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. But that's the one I favor. Me too. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy the play anyway. Thank you. I suspect it'll be the last chance I get to see one in quite some time. I have rather a long trip coming up. <laughs> I love how he's got this archetypal sort of British accent. Is that the time? Now that Bucky Butler's behind bars, I'd better get to Chan's limo company to take his place. Well, sorry about that, guys. It's really annoying because the game's actually... Well, not the game, the Switch is actually crashed. Police business. So I was in the middle of, like, driving the limousine and this happened. But not to worry. At least it's not too far back. So I can get the limo and... 
progress. It was typical because it was like right as I was sort of fly, flying through. I, was, I think I was close to the end of that sort of scene, which is always annoying, but things happen, don't they? And I'm just driving on the rails here, <laughs> as you do. Yeah! Just oddly satisfying. Seeing the Woo! sparks come out. <laughs> oh, so reckless. people out of the way. Wow. Woman on a mission. We've got to get this. We've got to get to there. Oh, didn't I probably looked at that before. It's quite pretty. I'm liking them dolphins. This car kind of blends into the background of the tunnel. It looks quite pretty cool though. I don't know what it is, but oh, so satisfying. That's how you do it. I love boosting. You're the new boy? Yes, sir! Oh, I was promised a thug. You look more respectable than I was hoping. Uh, well then, maybe you should get some glasses, old man. Ha <laughs> That's more like it! Okay, I need you to pick someone up. Oh, are they feeling sad? In a car! <laughs> Obviously. The person is Forrest Blackwell. The multi-billionaire? That is correct. It won't be easy, though. Mr. Blackwell is constantly hounded by the paparazzi. They will try to follow you, and Mr. Blackwell will not like this. Got it. Not a problem, because I am awesome at driving. Good boy. Go pick him up at Blackwell Tower, and be polite. He's our only customer. <laughs> I won't worry about the business if he's the only customer. Then again, he has like a billionaire. Okay. I've got to be very careful in this limo. Is it being extra, sort of? Obviously. <laughs> Extra long. It's kind of hard to navigate. Yeah. Well, it's not hard, but it's, it definitely adds a bit more challenge. Fire hydrant. It's 
blood. Watch the birdie! Side change! Mr. Blackwell, are you still thinking about the scandal? Why won't you let anyone in your tower anymore? Is it true you prefer cats to dogs? Gentlemen, please, give Mr. Blackwell some privacy. He merely wishes to go somewhere mysterious for secretive reasons he doesn't want you to know about. One more question, sir. What? Where are you going? Hey, where are you Forrest going? Blackwell, sir, don't leave. leave me. It's my job. Where can I take you, sir? Very kind of you to ask, young man. I shall be attending one of the last ever performances of the Perpetual Inbox at the Gillespie Theatre. I trust you have been told of my aversion to the paparazzi. Yes, sir. I'll do my best to shake them off. I appreciate that this may require you to adopt a somewhat, shall we say, unorthodox driving style. It could get a little rough. <laughs> oh, do not worry on my account. I have ridden atop ships of the desert. Nothing can compare to the discomfort that inflicts upon one's posterior. Are you a patron of the arts yourself, young man? Well, I like that TV show with the monkey who solves crimes. Ah, a true connoisseur. So, uh, may I ask what the play you're seeing is about? Authority, regulations, bureaucracy, the usual concerns of petty individuals. Sounds like my old job. Ah, to have your plans thwarted by fools. But what can you do? You either ignore it and get on with your life. Or you go mad. <laughs> yes. Mad. <laughs> or you could sneak behind their backs and get your own way without them knowing. The third option. Don't tell anyone. But that's the one I favor. Me too. Well, I hope you enjoy the play anyway. Thank you. I suspect it'll be the last chance I get to see one in quite some time. I have rather a long trip coming up. I'll come back and give you my insurance details later. <laughs> well, I think I just about survived that journey, driver. There's no need to wait. I shall be getting home by other means. Goodbye! Goodbye, sir. It can only be a matter of days before they find Rick's fury. That was admirable driving for Mr. Blackwell. Your complete lack of respect for traffic laws proves that you are an awful person <laughs> and is to be commended. Thanks. I hate traffic laws. Yes. I sense you may be the sort of individual we are looking for. Have you ever stolen anything? I stole some pens. Oh. <laughs> a thousand pens. From a child with a limp. Excellent! <laughs> then you are to be offered a promotion. Go to the alleyway to the left of the salvage yard in Pagoda. My employer will be anticipating your arrival there. He will explain the details. Wow. Let's go meet Mr. Chan. Okay, well thanks guys for watching. Um, I'm gonna leave it here for today, but I hope you enjoyed watching Lego City Undercover. And next time we'll see what sort of trials and tribulations Chase gets up to. Alright, bye for now. Thank you, bye!